The data was disappointing, uh, and we, we can ruminate about that. But I want to get straight to the curve. I've got two tens in the GTV library. If we just show that now with the Fed's balance sheet. We've seen the saving of the curve before Christmas, didn't we? We saw that steepener. We've come off the highs. We've got Iran gate, North Korea gate, and factory gate. We've got three major headwinds. What does that do to the curve in terms of the next move? We've seen a come off the steepener. Do we re-enter at these levels is my question. Well, I mean, this is a good point because, as you know, curves can move both ways. So they can uh, steepen uh, through a bull steepener if you go into a recession and the Fed start cutting the, uh, the short term uh, of the curve. Uh, or it can bear steepen if you get more inflation and more growth momentum. Um, so uh, our view is that uh, we like uh, buying options on the curve uh, because clearly there's a risk of a flattening if we get sort of a massive uh, risk off scenario. But we think that the balance of risk, uh, particularly if you look at over a 12 month period, is more for further steepening uh, because as you saw, the growth data is pretty uh, resilient. And you, we also need to bear in mind that the Fed has cut three times and has injected a huge amount of liquidity, same, same with the ECB. So if the recession that most uh, in, uh, analysts and strategists and economists are expecting is sort of shallow, we could see, particularly with the whole fiscal agenda, uh, a lot more momentum on the growth side, which could lead to more bear steepening. Uh, so curve cap uh, using option to ex get exposure to the two stands for us uh, is, is an interesting way of playing this. Yeah, so do you um, actually see a bottoming in the US manufacturing cycle then also feeding into that bear steepening? The data looked painful on Friday, but of course it was a little different to what we saw from IHS as well. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a good point because uh, our house view at Societe Generale is that we'll have a mild recession sort of in Q4 uh, mm. of this year, uh, given the fact that we've been in one of the longest uh, business cycle in the US history. Uh, so our view is that it will be trans uh, and therefore the data would bottom up eventually and have a sort of a strong momentum in 2021, particularly given all the momentum and all the liquidity injected by central banks, but also the fact that there's now a developing theme, which is that of a fiscal put, i.e. if we get a recession, uh, government uh, pressure, pressure on government to do more in terms of you know uh, sustainable investing, climate change, etc., will be another source of momentum for the economy.